Dear students, we learn theorems in geometry. For better understanding of the theorems, we can visualize them through an activity. Today, we are going to visualize the verification of the midpoint theorem. What is the midpoint theorem? In any triangle ABC, the line segment joining midpoints of two sides is parallel to the third side and is half of it. Here we have taken triangle ABC, M and N are midpoints of sides AB and AC respectively. We will verify MN is parallel to BC and MN is half of BC. We will verify this using an activity. For doing this activity, we require some materials and the materials are a mount board, colored paper, pair of scissors, a pen, a ruler, a roll of thread and glue. Let us start this activity. On a piece of paper, draw any triangle of suitable dimension. Here we are taking a triangle. We will name this triangle as triangle A, B, C. Cut this triangle. We will get the triangular cutout of triangle ABC. I have this cutout ready with me. This is the triangular cutout of triangle ABC. First of all, we will get the midpoint of side AB. To get the midpoint of side AB, we will fold the paper along AB in such a way that the vertex A coincides with vertex B. Unfold and on the crease mark the midpoint as M. Similarly, get the midpoint of side AC by paper folding. Fold along AC in such a way that point C completely coincides with point A. Unfold it and on the crease mark the midpoint as N. This way we have got the midpoint of side AB as M and the midpoint of side AC as N. Now make a crease joining MN. Unfold it. On the crease draw the line segment MN. Now we will verify the relation between angle AMN and angle ABC. Now take the replica of angle B. This is replica of angle B and place it at angle AMN. What do we observe? We observe that the replica of angle B completely covers angle AMN, which is a pair of corresponding angles. This means MN is parallel to BC. Let us verify this using another pair of angles. Take the replica of angle C and place it at angle A and M. We observe that angle C completely covers angle A and M, which is a pair of corresponding angles, which means MN is parallel to BC. Now we will see the relationship between line segment MN and the line segment BC. For doing so, take a piece of thread equal to the length of 
BC. This is a piece of thread equal to length of BC. Divide this thread into two equal parts. Now take one part out of it and place it at MN. What do we observe? We observe that the thread equal to half of length of BC completely covers MN. This means the length of MN is half of the length of BC. This verifies the midpoint theorem which means in a triangle ABC the line segment joining midpoints of two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side and is half of it. Dear students, you can verify this result by taking more triangular cutouts on your own of your own choice. Thank you.